This is question 16 from the 2010-2011 SEM1 EST. The first part asks us to explain how Arrhenius' law can be used to explain the tempera uh, temperature effect on the rate of reaction for an irreversible reaction. First, we define Arrhenius' law, which is rate constant is equivalent to frequency factor multiplied by the exponential of negative activation energy over universal gas constant and temperature. So if we increase this temperature, it will increase the ter uh, it will increase the kinetic energy of the molecules, and this will therefore increase the number of collisions between the molecules. And uh, increased number of collisions will, of course, uh, increase the rate constant. And with the increase of rate constant, the rate of reaction will also increase. The second part asks. Other than temperature effect, list and explain two factors that can affect the rate of reaction of an irreversible homogeneous liquid reaction. So the two other factors, uh, one of them is concentration. Uh, when the con concentration of the reactant is increased, the chances for the reacting molecules to collide will also increase. Therefore, with a uh, higher number of collisions between the reacting molecules, the rate of reaction will increase. Therefore, concentration increase, rate of reaction will increase. Another, um, another factor would be the catalyst, it would be the presence of a catalyst. A positive catalyst will provide a reacting pathway where it decreases the activation energy of the reaction. So with the catalyst, the activation energy will be decreased. When the activation energy is lowered, more molecules will gain sufficient energy to overcome the activation energy, and reaction will occur at a faster rate, and therefore the rate of reaction will increase. Therefore, with the addition of a positive catalyst, the rate of reaction will increase. The third and last part gives us a table and asks us to determine the Arrhenius par parameters using a suitable graphical method. And um, first of all, with the rate constant that we're given and the temperature that we're given, we can uh, state again the uh, Arrhenius equation, which is rate constant equals to K0 uh, times exponential of negative, uh, uh, negative activation energy. Activation energy. Negative activation energy over RT. Now, we want to make this into a linear equation so that we can draw a graph out of it. So, it, we, we will rewrite it to become ln k. It's equivalent to uh, ln k0. And multiplied by negative Ea over Rt. We will um, rewrite it once again to make it more appropriate for our uses. So it will become ln k is equivalent to negative Ea over R multiplied by 1 over T plus ln k0. And this will therefore give us the straight line equation. This will be our y. This will be our gradient m, this will be our x, and this will be our y-intercept. So in order to draw a graph with these values, we first need to find ln k and 1 over t. So we have done that, done that in this graph, ln k, and we have to make sure that the temperature is in kelvins so that we can use the values. So we have these values, and therefore we can draw a graph uh, with ln k as the y-axis and 1 over temperature as the x-axis. Therefore, using Microsoft Excel, we have drawn this graph. And as you can see, the, the blue is ln k, which is the y-axis. Over here is the y-axis ln k. And our x-axis is 1 over t which is gotten from the, these values. So we can find our activation energy, the red line, by getting uh, the gradient of, of this uh, line. 
and the uh, uh, frequency factor ln k0 can be found by getting the subsequent y-intercept when the x-axis is uh, equivalent to zero. And with the graph that Excel drew for us, they gave us that uh, they gave us that the equation of the line was y equals to negative one three six nine two x plus forty two point zero three nine. This uh, equation was given to us by the Microsoft Excel. And we recall that this will give us our ln k value. This is our ln k, actually. This will be our negative ea over rt, over, over r, sorry. Our x is the um, 1 over t. And this will be... Uh, ln frequency factor. Therefore, we can first find out our frequency factor, uh, which is ln k0. It's equivalent to 42.039. And if we ex multiply by the exponential on both sides, we can find our k0 to be 4.92 times 10 to the power of 18. And this will be the final answer for our k0 frequency factor. And we also know that our gradient m is equivalent to negative ea over r, which means that our ea is therefore uh, here. Our ea is therefore um, negative the gradient multiplied by the universal gas constant. So if we put in values to that, we will get uh, negative um, minus a negative one three three six nine two times eight point three one four joules per mole Kelvin and SI units and therefore we will get a final answer of 113 uh, sorry we will the final answer will be 113835 joules per mole and this is our final answer for the activation energy And these uh, are the constants in when you're using the Arrhenius equation. And from these constants, you can therefore find the rate factor or the temperature given one or the other.